This is Nala. She's a six-year-old epileptic Alaskan Malamute. Stay tuned to watch her massive fernado and learn a little bit about the concerns about working on an epileptic dog. Okay, girlfriend, let's get you done. I know you know what's happening. I always forget to put a towel down in front of the shower and then I always regret it. No, no jumping. Okay, so I'll be honest. The majority of my experience with grooming Malamutes has not been a good one. Malamutes tend to be super stubborn. They can sometimes be loud like huskies or they can just punch you in the face. They tend to do a lot of that. They tend to be very mouthy. So whenever we groom an epileptic dog, you have to keep in mind that stress can bring on seizures. So you need to pay attention to them. If a dog is getting extremely stressed during grooming and they're epileptic, it's not a good sign. I've fortunately, I've only ever seen a seizure once and that dog was extremely old and fortunately it was on the ground. I was not grooming it at the time of the seizure so I didn't have to worry about the dog being up on a table at the time of its seizure. And I believe that dog did pass away shortly after that groom. Okay, um, you're gonna have to stand up. Yeah, good girl. So I have three full canisters of shampoo to use on her because Malamutes have a very dense coat. And as you can see, it's dry. It's like I didn't even touch it. It's totally dry underneath. One time I had a Malamute go so insane when I was grooming her that I had to get the owner to come in and get her out of my bathtub and take her home because I couldn't touch her. And the funny part about it was that the... <laughs> the owner couldn't touch her either. She was trying to attack the owner. <laughs> I would suggest using both a deep cleaning shampoo and a de-shedding shampoo when you're working on shedding dogs. The de-shedding shampoo is great to loosen up the undercoat, but you need a shampoo that does a great job at also cleaning them and getting the odor off as well. You wanna shake again? Why not soak me today? So when working on a dog that's epileptic, it can be a little bit nerve wracking because you need to know what to do in the event that your dog were to have a seizure on your table. You have to act quickly because you do not want the grooming loop to be around their neck while they're having a seizure on the table. They could fall off. So you have to act very quickly and try to notice the signs before it happens. Just a face shampoo. For those of you that are interested in grooming products, they are all available on my website, which is linked in the description for you. So most of the Malamutes that I've worked on were male. I did work on one other female and she was really good for grooming, so I'm hoping that this female is also good for grooming. Maybe it's just a male thing. And before anybody says that's not true, for certain breeds it absolutely is true. Do you know that it's over? Huh? So three shampoos and a deep condition. And now we are all done for the bath part anyways. She is blowing coat, so there's going to be a little bit of a fernado happening today. Okay, I'm going to spray her down with the stuff for dogs, a conditioning treatment, and it will help to speed up drying her. Do you know what's coming? Do you know what's about to happen?
she is dry. She took me a total of 50 minutes to blow dry. So that's a pretty long blow dry. I have her in the belly band to keep her standing. I'm just gonna brush her back end and then I'll take the belly band off and brush the rest of her. Good girl. Good girl. Gonna go through her with the metal comb. Good girl. Good girl. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, don't bite. What about your back ones? Oh yeah, stretch your leg out really, really far. Ugh. Just don't think she likes having her paws touched. I'm going to put her in the groomer's helper. Okay, now I will attempt to clip her nails. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Don't bite. No. Okay. <sighs> You're a workout. You are a workout. Am I gonna have to put you in the muzzle? I really don't want to. It's okay. Good girl. There. It's just scissors. It's just scissors. Are you a little bit dramatic? It's just scissors. Good girl. Don't be dramatic. Good girl. Good girl. See? That's what happens when you're good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's all finished and her groom took a total of two hours start to finish for the bath, blow dry, brush, nails, and tidy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. You wanna go home? You want another treat? <laughs>